set a free that shot Our song I let my Our chance song. go back Good morning, everyone. It is another bright, beautiful day on board the Disney Cruise Line. I gotta tell you, I slept super well last night. For those who watched the earlier vlog, day three, I did not sleep well at all because of the rocking of the sea. I took some Dramamine, I slept so, so well, and now we are here at Tortola, British Virgin Islands. Super excited for what today brings, and Pirate Night tonight. Arg, matey, are you ready for Pirate Night, Dave? So ready for it. Are you ready for you it? You know it. How'd you sleep? Uh, no, 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 pretty no. Good, pretty, pretty good, pretty good. Okay. Pretty good. So we both slept really, really well. Seas were, I think, a little bit better than the night before, but Dramamine really did help me a lot. Now, something very, very interesting that I discovered last night, very interesting. I was lying like this, you know, standard direction. My head's toward the forward of the ship. Feet are toward the aft of the ship or the rear. And so when we're rocking back and forth, you rock from right to left. And you're thinking that's, that's the logical way to rock. Somehow they didn't feel too well with me. So I actually turned 90 degrees like this. So the forward is to my left side, aft is to my right side. So I actually was, was rocking from my head down to my feet. And logically, that makes no sense. It's, you're saying to yourself, Michael, you're going to be more sick. Somehow, it was better for me. <laughs> Time is now 10 in the morning. I know we slept in, but honestly, I really needed it. I needed it so, so much. Otherwise, I'd have no energy today whatsoever for Pirate Night, Star Wars Day at Sea. So we needed the sleeping day. Still want to catch the sunrise one of these mornings. I know we will, but now, breakfast time. Now, I should note 10 o'clock is a little bit late on a cruise ship because half of Cabanas is closed. I believe the other half is still open. We're about to find out. Pretty sure it is. Sure enough, other side, still open. We found a great spot for breakfast and take a look at it. It got smoked salmon, there's a pastry there. I think it's a raspberry one. Sausage, bacon, hash browns, eggs with ham and cheese and a very interesting piece of French toast right there. Looks absolutely delicious. And behind us, you can see, it's a little bit of a rainy day out there. And you see the Norwegian, I think it's epic, right behind us as well. Hopefully the rain lets up in a little bit. We'll be able to go out and explore a little bit, but if not, I know we'll find lots of fun things to do. Now, like previous cruises, they're doing some testing right now with the crew to make sure they stay on top of those emergency drills. Just in the event of an emergency, they know exactly what to do. They practice every single cruise that I've been on, like a weekly update to make sure they know what to do in an event of an emergency. Rain is coming down just a little bit at this point. I think it's slowing down. We're gonna grab our GoPros from the room and head out to see more of Tortola and the British Virgin Islands. Then we're probably gonna make our way back on board and do some fun activities around here. So there's still a lot to do. I know it's a later start to the day. I know, we'll do an earlier start another day, but it's gonna be fun nonetheless. All right, time to switch out to the GoPro and head on out, let's do it. British Virgin Islands, here we come. We are officially off the Disney Fantasy and standing on Tortola's dock right here. Norwegian Epic to our left, Disney Fantasy to our right, right over there. We're gonna do a little bit of exploring. It's gonna be a fun day. Take a look at the front of the Disney Fantasy right there, a truly magnificent ship. And you can see the size difference towards the Norwegian Epic. A very, very different size there. Much, much smaller, but no less magical. Wow, beautiful. Love these views on Tortola of the Fantasy. Fantastic, now the rain's coming down. I think we're gonna make our way undercover in this building right over here, do a little bit of shopping in Tortola. Tons of small shops in there, and I love this portrait right here on the wall. You can see Virgin Islands has a turtle right over there. It's super nice, there's even a small eel there. Now we're checking out the street right here in Tortola. You can see shops on our left and right. There is a croc store over there that I can see, Diamonds International over here. A lot of other shopping areas here. Big electronic stores, jewelry stores, all sorts of artwork all around from the island. Very cool to walk around, just take a quick look. David just pointed out to me something very interesting. Some of the wheels of the cars, where the drivers are on the left and some are on the right. Very interesting combination of cars. Walking into the land collection over here, taking a look at some of their items here, just to take a look around. And on into the gift shop here, taking a quick look around at some of the items that they have. Take a look at all these colors, very, very nice. Some of these I feel like my grandmother or mom would definitely love. Very, very nice to get off here at Tortola. I love it, it's, it's a great feel to it. I love the fact that the shops are right here, right off the dock, you just kind of walk over. Shops are here, super, super nice. And I, I really like these colored rocks right here. We need more of those in the US, those are cool. to walk 
walk around, see a little bit more of British Virgin Islands. Awesome, now we're gonna make our way back on board. Disney Fantasy right there on the side. Love seeing the ship as we walk up to it. It's a, it's a welcome home right there. Back on board, gonna switch out the GoPro, back for the camera for more magic today. All right, let's head on out to deck 11, grab some drinks, and then open house time. Banana ice cream, one of my favorites. Back up at deck 13, ice cream in hand, and amazing views of Tortola. Took quite a bit of time here to sit back, relax, and enjoy this amazing view right here of Tortola. In my opinion, this is one of the best views of the island on top of the Disney cruise ship. No obstruction at all. And look at those crystal clear turquoise waters right there. And that's just a uh, deep breath. Now, one of the things that I love about Port Days is the fact that so many of the chairs and areas are open because so many people are on the shore. We've talked about it before, but it just makes the cruise so much more enjoyable when you basically have it not to yourself, but more towards yourself. David and I are now headed back to Vime and hope to play Guitar Hero or maybe some other video games during the open house. Got about 45 minutes now to play in there. It's going to be fantastic. Here we are out on deck four and take a look at the Norwegian Epic right next to us. Epically large, no doubt about it. Walking around now, very open areas here. Something I've never noticed before, you see there's the life vest symbol right up there. These things must be totally full of life vests here, so the extra ones just in case. I know there are still concerns in the community about cruising and safety and all of that. Disney really, they're thinking about everything in case you leave your life vest in your room in the event of emergency, super rare. I, it's never happened, so luckily, but they have them all over the place. Can they both be on the same? Medium, yeah, both on medium. Yay. Here we go. Yeah. Woo! What? Oh, oh by 2,000 points. David caught up. He almost won. I beat him. So wow. what settings did you change? No, I did change no settings. <laughs> I changed no yeah. settings. Pirate one. I can actually do it with the Jolly Roger guitar right there for Pirate Night. I don't know if you can see that. Probably can't. Jolly Roger guitar. But I think I'll beat you again on medium now that I know uh, oh, one of the changes. Okay, well, medium it is. We're both waiting to use our guitar power. Nice. Woohoo! 12,000 points ahead. David won by a landslide. Nice. That's closer on hard difficulty for sure. David beat me by 2,000 points. That was the closest ever. David's the official champion, but I'm getting there. I get a little better? Yes. A little better. Great. A little better. Place you can see, I'm setting up Jenga right here, and David is playing on a real guitar right there. He does know how to play, indeed. <laughs> Take a look. Jenga is ready. David, you ready? Sure. Jenga time. Oh, this could be a short game. Oh, very nice. You see the, this one pig? Hope you like it. Ooh, ooh, you, you saw it move up top? Boy. Say it. Oh my gosh. Say something. I can't believe that. Come on. Uh-uh. <laughs> ah, <laughs> Always enjoy those open houses. It's over now, so we're leaving, but definitely a cool one. If you like video games, like just playing, and you're a kid at heart, I think that's the best way to put it. When you're a kid at heart, like, you know, we're, we're kids at heart, of course, and it doesn't matter your age, you can be a kid at heart. It's a great place to experience. Just stepped out on deck four now, you can see the rain is really coming down out there, so. Looks like we chose the perfect time to go out there and experience Tortola. I'm sorry, I don't have a choice. Such a fantastic movie. Caught it very, very quickly. Just about the second half, I'd say, of the movie. Such a great one. Now it's time for round two of Chip It and Golf. This time it's not against that wall back there. It's here in the lobby atrium. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. See if we can hang on to those high scores. That's all right, that's six points. Well, mm. Sure enough, I was in the lead for like three rounds and then another guest knocked me out of the lead. It was a lot of fun though. Always fun. Practice those chip it in golf skills. David and I are now going to get changed and get ready for a pirate night adventure night. There are going to be characters coming out here in 15 minutes. So we're going to get in line just a bit for Pirate Daisy. But the first thing to do to do that is get changed to pirate attire. Let's go. Pirates of the Caribbean. There we are with our headbands right there, ready to go. Army hearties, we have changed into our pirate attire and listen to the music. It is Pirates of the Caribbean music right there on board. I love it. Let's go out and meet some characters and have a pirific tie. Is that a word? 
Pirate, pirate rific time. I'm gonna go with pirate rific time. I love pirate night music all around. Everyone dressed up, special photos. Oh, it's gonna be such a fun night. Daisy, great to see you. Happy pirate night to you. You're, you're looking absolutely. And what am I? What am I? What's the word I'm looking for? I'm looking for pyrific. I like that word. It's got pirate rific. I don't know. I'm trying to think. Terrific and pirate. The whole thing together. I don't know. You look too fabulous to do any other word to describe it. I'm telling you. Always, always so fashionable. Ready? I was like, I'm scared of that. You're good. So, oh. we'll protect the ship. Yes. Yeah, we're, we're going to work for Captain Nicky. We're, we're, we're set to go. Yeah. Oh! Such a great meet and greet. David had him dancing. That was the best. All right, we are by the balcony now to meet with the pirate captain himself, Captain Mickey. A little scary, but you gotta learn the moves. Just like that overnight. I was so impressed. I was blown away. Must have been designed by Daisy. A little bit. With, with the ears too. With, with this I, I like not doing that. The Tinkerbell. Watching the back. Here's a codfish. Look, here's a... Oh, I didn't say anything. Oh my gosh, I gotta run. Oh my gosh, Captain. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm leaving. <laughs> No, it's okay. I said yeah. Hook was a codfish moments ago, right. so I got it. I'm, you know, I'm on the same boat. We're on the same pretending boat. To be I'm pretending. Pirate. I want to get in on his good side because I want to keep that lantern away from Tinkerbell. Okay. Here we are up on deck five, just relaxing, taking in some of those views right here before all the pirate activities begin. It's going to be a magical night, but I, I love just standing up here every so often and just taking it all in. Steve and I are going to sit back, relax. Oh, yeah. Before a fun filled. Pirate night. Spending some really great time relaxing here. I love these lounger chairs. They're fantastic. On deck five midships, right by the lobby. Super nice ones. We can see out the window. I don't think you can see it. I don't want to tear anything, but the Epic is leaving. The Norwegian Epic is actually pulling away right now. We heard the horn once, so I think they're going to be sailing away. See you next time, Epic. After some relaxing time and a few of our favorite loungers, we're going to get some more of those background photos for Pirate Night. Pirate Night. Now we've got some extra time, so I think we're going to take a few of our own photos, get some water, and get ready for the show. So just spoke to guest services and found out for sure the waves from yesterday, I'm losing track because of the sleep, but yet the high waves that we experienced were four meters high. That was as, as high as they were. Apparently they got up to four meters. Good to know. Uh, for reference, not sure why I would need to know that, but I, I kind of wanted to know. I want to know how high the waves got. Nice for them to tell me. Now, for reference, four meters is about 12 feet, give or take. So good, good to know. About 12 feet swell. Time for a classic on board Aladdin inside the Walt Disney Theater. No filming in there, but it's going to be so much fun. Here we go. Just finished with Aladdin. I got to tell you, it was fantastic. Really, really enjoyed it. The genie always brings down the house. Genie is by far an unbelievable character in that show. Really. really Really impressive. There were, I think, two very small technical difficulties, but overall, an unbelievable show. Truly loved it. Highly recommend it. On board the Disney Fantasy. Now, David and I are inside the store now, taking a look at some more of that Star Wars Day at Sea merchandise. Of course, we're going to get something special to commemorate this adventure. I'm thinking this shirt, this T-shirt, maybe, or this sweatshirt. Like them both. This one's about 54. This one's 25, something like that. Look at that kind of blue and gray. At first, when I saw it, I was like, oh, the design's only okay. But then I, lo I looked. It's got the hood, got the gray with the blue there. I feel like it, it goes really, really well, but I like the color right here. So, still deciding. Here's another shirt I think is really, really cool. But this is actually the back of the shirt. The front is that Star Wars Day at Sea right there. Still trying to decide. Is it going to be this one or that blue one over there? Still deciding. Yeah, I think we've come to a decision of this Star Wars sweatshirt right here. We have matching hooded sweatshirts around the parks. They're really, really nice. We don't have enough sweatshirts between the two of us. And you do need sweatshirts in Florida. You do. Three, three months out of the year, you need sweatshirts. So this is probably going to be what it is. We'll update you as we continue, but it's good to make these decisions early and then we can think about it. I've learned that from David, that you make the decision or you think about the decision, then you give it a few days to process and be like, oh yes, I do want that or oh no, I wouldn't use it that much. So that's the, that's the thought for right now. Got a few more photos here by the lobby. We're going to go upstairs, relax for a few more minutes and then it'll be dinner time. David and I now relaxing here on the adult deck on deck 11 and I got to tell you, it's super, super nice to be out here. Very few people around and I'm realizing something. The more and more we cruise, the less of you know the running around there is because you don't get a picture with Pirate Stitch because we already got a picture with Pirate Stitch and all these other things. And so we get to <laughs> have more time relaxing, sitting back, you know, just taking those time in between time. So right, time is now 8.09. We have five minutes. We got to get down to Royal Court and we will. But, it, you know, it's really, really nice to take these moments here. And it's like the park in many ways where it's like you go and experience a lot of the parks with it. You run, 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 go see it all. But then you experience it more and more 
and then it slows down a little bit. And I love that. I love how our cruise, our cruising style is also evolving. So, so cool. Okay, Royal Court dinner, here we go. What a way, what a, oh, that's the best, right there, right? Dancing with Minnie on the Disney Fantasy. I don't think I can top that, I, I don't think I can. Let's head into dinner. David and I are here at Royal Court and they don't have the pirate menu. I should have known this, but they do not have the pirate menu on Star Wars Day at Sea Cruise because they have the Star Wars menu on the Star Wars Day. Good note, good note. If you like the pirate menu, that's not what you get when you're at the Star Wars Day at Sea Cruise. Just a side note, pirate menu is great too, but so is this one. This is the oxtail soup one, uh, and the aged prosciutto, lobster tail, red snapper. It's the royal court menu, so good to know. So looking at the menu, Dave and I are tempted by a lot of it, but again, I'm trying to try as many new items as possible. So I'm looking at a few items. Uh, the eggplant, I'm pretty sure I've not tried the breaded baked eggplant, uh, the lemon fennel salad, I don't think I've had that before, pretty sure I have not tried the pan seared venison medallions. All three new options, I'm going to discuss it with our servers uh, and see what he thinks. The, um, the lighter note offerings also look really interesting, like the oven, oven baked uh, filet of salmon and the sirloin steak lighter note offerings. Interesting, interesting. So, but we'll see. Interesting menu. Just spoke to our very kind server and asked him about if we could order something from a menu on a different night. For example, Enchanted Garden has the Ahi Tuna Avocado Tower. The first three nights of the cruise. This is the fourth night? I forgot already. This is, I think, the fourth night. And they no longer are serving it. But our kind server told us that if we let them know the night before, like tonight, that we want something like that, that's the item we would get on the following night, we can do it. And we're looking at the menu right now. They was looking at the menu for tomorrow. You can look at it through the app, which is super helpful. And deciding if possibly that is something we want to order because on the menu, it's, you know, it's got items we've tried before versus something that we know and love. Just an idea, we're glad I can pass it along to you. It's good to know. You order the night before for the following day. Starting it off with that fried eggplant. It looks really, really good. It was recommended very highly by our server. I'm not usually an eggplant fan, but we will see. David's got that fennel salad. Looks really, really good. Lemon fennel looks like, unlike any other salad I was expecting to see. So, very excited to try that as well. We're both gonna try a little bit of both. Starting it off with the fried eggplant. Not bad, not bad. If you like eggplant, I think you're gonna love it. I'm not a big fan of eggplant, so I'm kind of like, eh, it's okay. I wouldn't get it again. I would not personally. I don't like the, the, the flavor through, like the fried, the cheese, that tastes good. The other flavor, eggplant flavor, not a big fan of that. David, you agree? Yeah. Now time for a bite of David's lemon fennel salad. That is very impressive. It comes with smoked salmon on the side, and the combination is really good. Like the, the salad by itself, I'm not so sure about it, but when you combine it with the smoked salmon, it's that's really good. Between the two, I would get the lemon fennel salad that fast, that fast. Dave, what do you think? I love the smoked salmon part, you're right. I'm not really sure what the other thing on right. there is. I'm eating it, but it just kind of tastes airy. But I do like the salmon. For yeah, sure. there you go. Now I'm trying what I believe is the beef salad right here, but I don't see much beef in there, mostly just salad with tomato there. Looks interesting, looks interesting, but not not too much beef there. Looking for the beef. Yeah, looking for the beef, yeah. We got that one wrong. We just found out it's, it's beef steak, <laughs> tomato. <laughs> okay, it was an honest mistake though. Honest mistake. He, he said he'd answer that question a few times, so it wasn't just me that read that wrong. That's a beef steak tomato. That is a beef steak tomato. So, good salad. Good salad, it's fine. As salads go, I like it. The tomatoes are good, but but it doesn't have any beef in it. It could use some beef. It could use some beef. For dinner tonight, I've got the marinated venison medallions. Looks really, really good, along with some kind of fried maybe cheese stick. Not sure, and something on the side there also looks good. David's got the parmesan encrusted chicken with the fettuccine. I remember the fettuccine being extremely, extremely good. We're gonna try the venison together. You ready? Here we go. Our server said it extremely well. Has a gamey flavor to it. Gamey flavor, not, not the meat. Meat is great, falls off the bone. The flavor is gamey, it is venison. It, you have to know that you like venison. That's the key, that's the key here. If you don't like venison, I wouldn't recommend it. If you do like venison, this is a great one. So it, it really varies based on you. I agree with where you're coming from. I feel like 
the, the consistency is very good. You may have seen my facial expression at first. The first kind of taste was like, oh, look how easily this bites. You gotta love that smoothness to the bite. Agree. But the flavor is not necessarily my thing. Not terrible, but it is very unique. I agree with that one. I, I like it, I don't love it. Uh, probably would not get that one again. If you love venison though, I would recommend it. Yep, that's just the way it is. Now we're gonna try one of these fried sticks right here. Maybe a cheese stick, maybe something else. We'll find out. It's almost a sweet potato, but not really. N not really. It's like it's like halfway between a regular potato and sweet potato. A little mushy. Not a fan. If this was a cheese stick, it'd be perfect. Mozzarella stick, boom, done. You sold me. But it's weird. It's weird. Dave, what do you think? I agree. It, it is very similar to a sweet potato. Or a regular potato, somewhere in the middle. It's weird. I, I, I don't think that's something I would look for <laughs> when I go out. Overall, I wouldn't recommend the uh, venison dish here. It is... Uh, it's okay, at best. If you love venison, maybe, but otherwise I'd probably say no. Now David's chicken is dry, not very good. Wouldn't recommend that one. I remember from before, but the fettuccine we are trying together. Very, very good. Could use a little bit of Parmesan, maybe some pepper. It'd be perfect, but very good. Problem is the chicken does not taste good on top, so. Yeah, I probably wouldn't recommend either of these dishes here at Royal Court tonight. Dave, what do you think? I, I gotta agree with you on that one. I mean, the, the pasta is good. Chicken's not so much my style. The flavoring is kind of off. So, yeah, keep looking. Keep looking. There are other great items from Royal Court, but these are examples of things that, you know, we tried. I'm glad we tried them together, but I just don't recommend them. So I did not request anything. I didn't ask our server for anything, but he saw that the, you know, the dish was done. I had the knife and the fork together to indicating the fish I was finished. And he said, oh, you didn't like it that much. Said it wasn't my favorite. He just offered out of the blue. He said, what else can I get you? I want to make sure you have something nice, which was great. I did not ask for it, but I'm going to get that, uh, the curry. Do you remember the curry? David had the vegetarian curry the last time we were here at Royal Court. Really, really good stuff. So I want to try that myself, kind of as a full dish. It's going to be really good. Thanks again to our serving team for asking. Really nice. Unbelievably quick for this service. Unbelievably quick. Just made that. Just told you about that. And it's already here. Putting the rice in to the curry. Going to mix it up. Going to split it a little bit with David. Uh, such a good one. Hard to imagine. That. We are not vegetarians. You know this by now. We have been to so many steaks and all these amazing things. Vegetarian option here. One of the best I've had at Royal Court for this menu, for this menu. Really good. This is a menu that I recall. I remember the raspberry vanilla creme brulee, the apricot trio, chocolate lava cake, captain's table sundae, old fashioned apple pie, and no sugar added chocolate cheesecake. The problem is I don't remember what was good, what I liked, and what I didn't like. So I don't even remember what I've had. I remember we tried the creme brulee. I can't remember if we liked it. I know we've tried the apple pie. I'm pretty sure we liked it. And I'm pretty sure I love the lava cake. I, I can't remember. We're gonna just try some things and let you know what we think. Sure enough, we decided I am getting the raspberry creme brulee and we are sharing the apricot trio. David also has the no sugar added chocolate cheesecake. Sounds really, really good. Lava cake was recommended as well and that, uh, what was it, the apple tart? No, the apple pie. Apple pie is also recommended. We've had them both, love them, but I wanna try new items. For dessert tonight, we've got three different delicious looking items. We've got the apricot trio, which is that vanilla cheesecake, and the apricots on top, looks really good. The creme brulee, 99% sure we've tried it before, and 99% sure we loved it. Let's find out 100% momentarily. And we've got that brand new, no sugar added, chocolate cheesecake. Looks really, really good. Looking forward to trying all three. Let's start it off with a no sugar added item. For a no sugar added item, it's okay. Of the no sugar added items we've had on board, this cruise is my least favorite. I hate to say it, but I've got to agree with you on this one. Of the no sugar added items we've had, this is my least favorite. To me, it's interesting, I'm tasting it, and I just did a test. It seems like the worst part is that kind of top jelly on there. It's like a, I don't know, some sort of egg jelly along the top. So I'm thinking about just cutting off the top layer and trying more without that because that's, that's the part that takes away the most. Definitely much prefer the other no sugar added items though. Me too. All right, now it's time to try the apricot trio, which again is just the apricots garnishing the standard vanilla cheesecake. Not something I would go out of my way for, not something that I would prioritize at all. It, it's it just fine, just fine. That's how I feel about it. David, David's nodding. That's just a regular vanilla cheesecake, everybody. Just regular, nothing extra special. Let's go to the uh, creme brulee. Very, very good. Of the three here, that's my number one favorite. However, I still prefer the classic apple pie and that chocolate lava cake. Those are the winners on this menu. Those are the ones to get. 
The creme brulee is really good, best of the three by far, but the other two, those are the ones to get. A really good dinner here at Royal Court, but now it's time for a pirate celebration on board the top deck. Let's go to it. And we've made our way out onto deck 11 to start finding a spot for those fireworks. Time is now 10 o'clock. You can see a lot of those great spots have already been taken. So note that time a little earlier than 10 is best. 10 minute wait for the aqueduct. It's closed. No, no. Got a pretty good spot right here where we can see the show. I cannot wait to experience it again. Uh, Pirates in the Caribbean deck party. <laughs> What do you think, Dave? Really, really fun one. Definitely enjoyed those fireworks. The pirate has officially begun. We're going to give it a few moments to clear out a little bit and then make our way back down the room. So much fun. Now, one important note after the fireworks, the crowds get super intense just to get down the stairs. So it's an important side note. Either party it out or move right away. Your choice, but it does take a little while. Now, we mentioned once or twice about the convenience of being on deck two, and I love being on deck two. Very convenient to the lobby atrium and so many other places but deck 7 there's a really big part of it that's super convenient and that's leaving deck 11 or 12 during something like the pirate adventure pirate party everyone's up there everyone's trying to use those elevators or stairs being on deck 7 helps so so much you just walk down a couple decks instead of walking down 10 decks headed back to the room now because it is just about 10 45 so a little bit later in the day time to get some sleep long night's sleep and then maybe we'll get up for the sunrise, maybe we'll save it for another night. Haven't fully decided yet. Sure enough, we got back to the room and we found some special surprises inside. Sparkling apple cider. Non-alcoholic, just exactly what we like. And some Reese's, pe some Reese's treats right here, shaped like Mickey, and some chips right there. Believe it or not, it all comes from the guest services team at the Disney Cruise Line. Thank you so much to the entire team. We are having a truly magical time, and it is thanks to the cast members who make it all possible. Thank you so much for bringing us magic each and every day. Today was awesome. I cannot wait to share another magical day with you tomorrow, and then we have Star Wars Day at Sea. Still a lot of cruising ahead. Thanks, as always, for being a part of the magic with us today, and until next time... Have a magical day. See you real soon. Thank you.